turn facing and band to inside. Stitch facing close to inner edge. Now that you've sewn this down, you want to make sure that you remember to clip both corners. The directions are not going to tell you to do that, but they're going to assume that you know. So clip each corner only where you sewed on both sides. Once you complete that, you're going to stick your thumbs into each side. Go ahead and flip it over like you are flipping it right side out. We're going to go ahead and turn this over. What you don't want to happen is to see that the corner looks like it's missing. You are going to take the tool that has the brush on one end and the pointer on the other. This is called a point turner. Go ahead and stick that into the corner and poke that corner out. What's going to happen is it's going to look like a nice square point. Do this on both sides so that you get a nice clean square look. The last step to creating this facing is going to be sewing along the edge. The first thing that you are going to do is to press it. When you are getting ready to press it, you want to try to put it or press it on the line that was already created on the fold. So go ahead and line it up. You want to make this as even as possible. Remember, you can use your steam to set in the crease. To complete the next part of this step, we will be stitching the facing close to inner edge. The thread coming off the picture indicates where you should be stitching. The stitch line is indicated with a dashed line on this illustration. What you are going to do now is an edge stitch. An edge stitch is going to still be at two and a half stitch lengths and it's going to be right along the edge just like it sounds like. This is going to allow your facing to stay down and it's going to allow the pocket to have a nice finished look on the inside. When you do an edge stitch, there's two options. You can either line up the material with the edge of the foot or on the inside of the toe here. This is going to allow you to have a closer stitch if you line up with the inside of the toe. For this edge stitch, we are going to line up with the inside of the toe. So the edge of my material is lined up with the inside of my toe. I am stitching two things together, so I am going to back stitch. It is a straight stitch, so it should be nice and easy. Go ahead and start back stitch. Allow the machine to pull the material forward. Again, my focus is out here because I know that my needle is going to stitch straight and I want to make sure that I steer it straight. Keep the material edge lined up with that inside toe of your foot. When you get to the end, remember that you are going to back stitch, stitch all the way to the end and then come back in reverse and then forward. When you are finished, your finished product should look like this with a nice edge stitch on the front. Make sure this is nice and straight and your pocket is finished and ready to be put onto the bag.